Now you've probably heard this said a lot before, but this running your own YouTube channel business can be a bit lonely. And given that I'm a voiceover artist and work from home and hardly ever get to meet clients anymore, then that can be a bit lonely too. So last September, I decided that what I needed to do was get out in the real world and meet other filmmakers. And to do that, I joined a short documentary film course here in London at the Met Film School. Now the course was about 12 weeks long and the whole idea was that we'd be split up into groups of three or four and we could go off and make our own short documentaries which we'd present at the end of the course. My particular group decided to make a film about the day in the life of a pet shop and given that I was the only one who actually owned and knew how to use my DSLR, I was the designated cameraman. Now I absolutely love my Canon 600D, it's been a great workhorse for me for the last three or four years and it's been a great thing to learn filmmaking on but what the Canon 600D doesn't have is inbuilt body stabilization. Now that's not necessarily a deal breaker because even if I had something like the GH5, which has absolutely great inbuilt body stabilization, I'd still have to hold the camera for the entire day, probably with a battery pack as well. And that would get really tiring, particularly as I am recovering from a shoulder injury at the moment. So I decided what I needed for my first down and dirty documentary was my first shoulder rig. And I went online with 24 hours to go and found this one on Amazon. It's the Niwa Portable Filmmaking System. That's a shoulder rig to you and me. And here's what you get in the box. A 15mm crossbar rod with rail mount and two adjustable and removable handles. Four additional 15mm rods which screw together to make up the two main rails. A shoulder pad. A base plate which moves back and forth and up and down. And finally a quick release plate with quarter inch threads fitting most makes of DSLR. It's easy to work out how this rig goes together without instructions and once fully assembled the first thing I noticed is that it doesn't feel flimsy at all. All the catches tighten and loosen quickly and easily and during a whole day's filming I didn't feel that I needed to readjust or re-tighten anything because it might be slipping or coming loose. The quick release is very smooth and easy to use and at no point did I think that my Canon 600D with an extra battery pack and a heavy 17-50mm to 50 millimeter lens was in any danger of falling off. And when my shoulders became too tired, I simply fixed the rig to a tripod, which is very easy with the underside thread. And it's great that there's a built-in level to help you with this. So in conclusion, I'd say that this is a great first-time rig for any DSLR shooter. If you don't need large batteries or monitors or any of the other accessories that people tend to want these days, then this really is all you need. Now, I'm not sure how long this unit would last long-term, particularly as it's not really a professional rig. So once you've broken it down maybe 30 or 40 times, the performance might start to suffer. But to avoid that, you can simply fold it flat or break it into two or three pieces to go into an extra bag. And this would probably extend its life significantly. That's it from me this week guys. If you've enjoyed this video in any way, shape or form then why not subscribe or give me a like and I'll see you again next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.